While I've been busy settling in for the holidays, running out of time, running around buying gifts in panic mode, and eventually sitting down to relax in an attempt to stop my own mental crash and burn, I made you guys something a little more lighthearted. The Tigger movie is one of the rarest things that can make me cry in this world. I guess I'm just some sort of emotionless clay man, unless it comes to the Tigger movie, Stranger Things 3, Toy Story 2, Good Will Hunting, The Notebook, or The End of Spider-Man 3, in which I will be defeated. I'm a confusing man to many, which is just a classic move for me, and this movie's a classic for many, which is a confusing move for... And... And like most small boys, Christopher Robin had... Money to make and people to scam in an enchanted place called... The Internet. You think Christopher Robin's deep into that cryptocurrency by now? Every one of his hallucinations in the market to fight off that crippling college debt. Wait half a minute! So rightfully so, Tigger is sick of this live-action remake vibe going on and travels back through the pages to give us one out of his many musical numbers. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are marvelous chaps. They're loaded with them with Tigger. They love to leap in your nuts. What if the beginning just did like a duck amok and Tigger just suddenly sprang off into nothing because the background designer couldn't keep up and the hundred acre wood just ends? I'm the only <laughs> What did his poo bears like about this sticky, sticky stuff anyway? Said most of my friends to me about my regular drink at Tim's. It's a mocha ice cap gingerbread. Ryan, you have a problem. No time for goofing off. I got doddling to do. <laughs> TTFN, ta-ta for now. H-F-C-T-S-U-Y-S-Y-L. Have fun cleaning the shit up. I'll see you later. Well, I guess they did. Apparently Will is short for William Piglet's grandfather. For some reason, a vision of Piglet just busting out, shooting and swearing at anything that moves to honor his grandfather's rage doesn't feel right. Even if Tigger did try lighting his house on fire. Whoa! There, see? Oh no, not mad at all. Well then, uh, TTFN. I be BTBTR. I'll be back to burn the rest. Well, I'm afraid I have just too much to do this morning, dear. <laughs> And I'm afraid your little genocide run this morning drowned all the frogs and frightened the birds. So now I must sweep up the entire hundred acre wood? DBSSWW, too bad, so sad, womp womp. So the sad music comes in and Tigger's finally given up. Oh well, <laughs> what am I talking about? I wonder if his friends are like, can he ever just take an L and sit quietly? Nope. At least someone's enjoying playing Rock of Ages 3. How will b bouncing move the rock, t Tigger? Tut, 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 not no, Piglet. I love Tigger's random insults that nobody does anything about. He just carries on like it's nothing. So Rabbit's rock remover, remove the rock, and Rabbit and everyone else right into the river. Tigger gets kicked out of the server for cheating. A pretty light punishment, actually. <laughs> bouncing! The sad music comes back and Tigger sings about being the onlyest one. I like the contrast between being lonely in the beginning, where he's watching everyone else have a dad, or whatever. Dad! And then wishing there was someone like him near the end with the shadows and the clouds. It's nice. Don't you have a family somewhere too? What? Oh, that's ridiculous. I, I mean, yeah, it was you. Ooh. And mood magically changed. Tigger must feel pretty dumb right now. He's great at bouncing and unnecessary insults towards friends, but not much else. You wish to find your family. <laughs> a most noble quest indeed. This isn't a Mike Drugs bill for the story of Chud, is it? I know you have three hours to kill, but we gotta go. Following a sugar cube. <gasps> If you're starting to feel the weight of whatever kind of bullshit is going on. <coughs> oh, my dear boy, are you quite all right? The, the Convincing Owl a violent crash was rook coughing. But to find one's family, one must first look up one's family tree. <gasps> I can't believe a sugar cube captured the engagement of our beloved characters with the mystery it conjured within itself to be intriguing enough to chase after a crash into the globe to roll into the wall making the paintings fall and have Tigger rearrange them all to realize his family tree. It takes a sugar cube to be sick of Owl's ramblings to move the story along. Owl, you about to be replaced as a friend real soon. You better save yourself by making sense. Otherwise, treehouse sleepovers and tea never again. Anywhere else, I can just take a nap peacefully and nothing will come by to rob me. These backgrounds feel like they have the ability to unlock old memories and feel like you belong wherever it takes you. So much that you won't even realize you are still looking for your parents. 
So like many of his friends' homes, Tigger doesn't seem to mind invading his own to find something his family might have given him. Oh, could my auntie have made this for me? Or, could it be the Cloak of Invisibility that Harry got as a gift in the first book but then disappeared because JK forgot it existed and then suddenly turned it into one of the Deathly Hallows' most powerful artifacts that you can cheat death with? Which is why it's sitting here until needed later. Is that bad? <gasps> what? That's ridiculous! So while we're still sitting here searching, the background designers had this bit from the Tigger Tail extra that I want to play. As a background designer, also you're you're creating an invisible history for each character in their yes. in depicting their environment. It shows so much about the character. Watching that made me realize. Look at these three screenshots from July, October, and December. Warm and cozy to dark and cold. I didn't even mean to do that. But you know what I did mean to do? The scary and cute stuff behind me. Ow! <laughs> I was about to say something, but I didn't realize that this was here. Oh! And I broke it. Well, at least I know nothing else will hurt me because I, no, there's nothing here. It's just green screen. You snapped it. But of course I would have a laughing jack mask and a penguin plushie right beside each other. Or a creepy purple imposter and a sad little ghost boy. Basically, I can be frightening at times, but most people say I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> so out of all the meaningful things Tigger finds in his treehouse, the one that defines him the most right down to the core of his heart of his being are his insults. <laughs> If Tigger invites his friends into his treehouse just to secretly wait for a chance to subtly insult them, then that's... 90% mental. And also, I gotta try that next time I visit Jay and John. Even though I won't technically have the right because we won't be in my house. But my confusing self will sure catch him off guard. Back it! So the only other option left for Tigger is to write them a letter. How are you? I hope you are fine. I am not fine. You are the ones who drove me to this. Sorry, write them a letter to see if anyone can visit and not be horrified when they get there. They place it in the mailbox and send it through the power of, uh... Internet? Now they just gotta sit and wait. Which reminds me, I might as well send my gift. BRB. I'll be quick. I'm gonna send it through the power of the internet. Okay, I'm home. What did I miss? At last, the day had come to an end, as days often will. I don't believe this. I don't, <clears throat> I don't believe you. I don't believe that after all that, you just made things worse by telling us that days often do end and that it is now the end of the day. It was going great until you came along, sir. So the gang get together to pose as Tigger's family with a letter from us, from them, to him. Dress warmly. Eat well. Get... Good. A couple insults to make him feel at home. Tigger just doubts it's his real dad reading this and his reaction after is like, Imposter. <laughs> and so the next morning. With the snap of great great friend, Peppy Tigger's and Grandma Tigger, they fun. Tigger's round my family tree literally fried my brain by the end of it. I think it was these screenshots between flashes that did it. And Tigger tidies up his treehouse, awaiting a visit from his family and continuously reminding his friends how much he's royally screwed while wearing a pot on his head. You wanna hear me read it once or thrice again? No matter how many times you read it, it never says they know you're having a party tonight. And here is the best part of all. We're always there for you. He never told them when, or even invited them. What is this, Stephen Hawking's birthday party? So everybody attempts to tell him that nobody will show up, but he is just too busy making sure that cake don't fall down. Nicolas Cage couldn't convince him the world was ending. You know what this reminds me of? Remember when everybody in Hotel Transylvania 1 and 2 had their own animated movements that defined their personality? I just think this secretly pokes fun at how everybody given the same one won't end well. Just like when Hotel Transylvania 3 didn't. Act like a tiger. Hey, the horrible storm is here. And it's a blizzard out there. What on earth are you doing? Waiting on you so we could bring all the mental illnesses together for the holidays? Have you lost your minds? Well before this video began, yes. So Tigger begins to worry that they got lost along the way and goes out to look for them. But finds out... There's a family in his driveway. Colorized 2019. I only stole the title, I didn't watch anything, but I will get to it. Your suggestion has not been lost. Let the bouncing begin!
You take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some pie and then you mix it in your body and shit it all out. But eventually everyone's revealed for who they really are. They manage to become trustworthy enough to watch him slowly realize it crumble in front of him as he falls apart into his own madness. Six imposters, one crewmate. That's just unfair. I feel like I just turned into Magic Man for a second because of how much I just unnecessarily shit on someone. But I feel really bad for him. I promise. You can tell what they're going through, even without any noise, and you feel what they feel because it looks so real. Every detail that goes into every hand-drawn frame one after another just makes emotions explode. I must be very sad. And perhaps lost. Or just out on a Tim's run. I hope he senses I need more honey even though I told him I wasn't hungry. So right in the heart of the storm, where it's the most miserable, where Rabbit lives, they tell him they can't find Tigger without him and that they need his help. I love that the storm gets more menacing and knocks the power out like it's trying to tell Rabbit there's no other option. I was gonna make the mom, dad, where's the internet meme, but that's more for 2014 me. But shuffling around in layers of cardigans and willpower to fight the urge to turn the heat back on to save money is more for 2021 me. And I love that lighting the room up again reminded them that Tigger always did too. Especially Piglet's house. We should be crumbling down by now. So with 20 minutes remaining, not only has Tigger completely hit rock bottom, but in an attempt to make us sob where we sit, he has now hit avalanche bottom. Come on, hurry I don't know if Christopher Robin was just busy having a meltdown in the real world that affected his imagination, like maybe he got separated from his dad at the store or something. In which case, I do have something real that's on the shelf. Never lose a toddler in a store. You aren't alone if you had that parental nightmare where you go to pick up a quart of milk with the kiddo and suddenly she's not at your side. The most tangible method is to physically attach yourself to the child with a leash harness. You can also go high tech with a geolocator, basically a pinging unit you can follow on your phone. Just slip the locator into one of the toddler's pockets and you need to only glance at your phone to know exactly where she is. I was hidden in the little coat racks, but it wasn't too hard to find me because I was just laughing the entire time. <laughs> It is so sad that Tigger saves everyone before he can save himself and then dies that it's insane. They don't regularly face this much chaos in the Hundred Acre Wood, but when most of the story has been so emotionally heavy, you're with them through everything. And it hits even harder when they feel defeated, even if it's toward an unnecessary villain. Oh, never mind. Two unnecessary villains. Christopher Robin was apparently too busy shitting his pants over his friends falling to their deaths. But he's here now, to do nothing. The end. For many of us, it's been a nightmare getting through these couple of years, but we find something within ourselves to manage it. And for me, most of the time, it's a weird comfort drink nobody else enjoys apparently. A metalcore album that's too heavy for my heart but I play it every day anyway. Those two months I had my Joker Pennywise Stranger Things hyperfixation technically falling in late 2019 but close enough. And now a timeless classic against my fragile 99's baby brain, telling us that we may not realize how much we mean to the ones that miss us the most. But whenever we do, it'll remind us of everything we remember them being, and something we really need. However lost we may get. Please state your name for the record. Uh, hello, yes, uh, Robert, Ro Robert, Robert, <laughs> ah, yes, hello, Robert, Robert, Robert. Robert. hello, Robert, yes, and I'm, this is present opening, uh, yo, this is, oh, it's beautiful, oh, what is it, I need scraps, good, Ryan, you called me an asshole, <laughs> Ooh, I did not, I didn't know that they made Firefly tie-in novels, that's beautiful. Well, come on, Firefly, man, that show that everyone loves, but got canceled, I don't fucking But got anymore. canceled? I wonder why it got canceled. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, it's gonna...